content. I will start a little review in a few minutes or a few seconds. Waiting for it to be live just so that I have confirmation that it is live. And it is receiving my content. The audience will see it. And I am live. Here we go. I need some little bit of theme music before I do this novella review. good and the bad and the ugly the themes thing of that hopefully YouTube doesn't get me on that one it's just I played just a, a YouTube video and, and played that little song all right here we go why review novella the builders by Daniel Polanski guys I asked earlier um, hey which which tour.com novella should I read tonight and Thomas was the first one to reply so he won and he said The Builders by Daniel Polanski so I went I bought the novella right then I started reading it right then and I said I would do a review live at 10 p.m. and here I am live 10 p.m. Uh, doing a review of The Builders by Daniel Polanski I actually just finished it like 15 minutes ago so it took me about probably about two and a half hours to read this entire novella it is 140 pages on my my e-reader there's a lot of white space so I would say that the actual novella is about uh, maybe 90 pages of text and whatnot so yeah it's not really the, or like a really long read but it's not like a really short novella either uh, most people read much faster than me so they can read it much faster but it took me about two and a half hours and the cover art by this was Richard Anderson check out that cover art guys fantastic Richard Anderson you should know him from doing the Dinosaur Lords cover. He's the reason that everyone bought Victor Mon's book <laughs> the last year. <laughs> and he also did a lot of the covers for um, uh, the guy that's bringing out Mortal's Bond in a few weeks. I need to check my bookshelf. Oh, Wexler, right? No, no, Brian Stavely. Brian Stavely. Uh, Richard Anderson also did the Brian Stavely covers, and they're fantastic. They're awesome. So, yeah, look up Richard Anderson's work. Uh, the links will be in the description box. Anyways, The Builders by Daniel Polanski, it is ridiculous. It is outlandish. It is fun. It is violent. It is just like the most ridiculous thing. Um, if Martin Scorsese and um, the guy that did Pulp Fiction and the other movies. Wow, I am having a blank right now. This is what happens when I do a live review. I can't actually think about what I'm, what I'm going to say or write something down. Well, anyways, you guys know who it is. Uh, the guy that did uh, Reservoir Dogs, that did Kill Bill, and all those movies. Pulp Fiction. Wow. Anyways, yeah, if him, Martin Scorsese, made a novella book, it would be The Builders by Daniel Polanski. It was ridiculous. So, basically, what this book is, is it's an animorphous, anima, <laughs> I can't say that word very well. 
anapomorphic uh, animals dressed as people, acting like people. And they have this little story of revenge, and they're going after the people that hurt them before. And these little animals are a ton of different animals. Uh, they have uh, they have like a skunk, they have a mouse, a possum, a rat, a salamander, a badger, uh, an owl, a porcupine, and a bunch of others. And the fun part of this book is just reading about the animals and new animals showing up in all the scenes. That is the best part of this book. And I was smiling the entire time while reading this book. Uh, I was either smiling big like I am now or smiling like small like just grinning and what's fun about it is that all these animal characters are trying to act like so rough and tough and mean and it's it's super serious it's like a super serious book but as a reader it's really hard to take it really seriously because like it's a mouse and all these animals have pistols and rifles <laughs> and one of them has a sniper rifle and it's it's really serious while reading it like the actual novella is super serious but you can't help but but read the absurdity of it and think that this is hilarious because it is it's just ridiculously outlandish and there's a salamander that is the fastest gunslinger. Like, he is faster than anyone else ever. And it's just so funny. And I liked it a lot, as you can tell. I'm going to read a small, por or a small paragraph. And it pretty much encompasses what this book is all about. So, let's see. I think it was on page 11. Okay, this is one of the characters, Bonsoir, uh, Bonsoir, Bonsoir is a stout, S-T-O-A-T, and he says, I have cracked rattlesnake eggs while their mother slept soundly atop them. I have snatched the woodpecker mid-flight. More have met their end at my hand than more than from corn liquor and poisoned bait. I am Bonsoir, who's... Steps fall without sound, whose knives are always sharp, who comes at night and leaves windows weeping, who comes at night and leaves widows weeping in the morning. Yeah, that, that, that is what type of book this is. It's, it's so funny. Um, but it's not supposed to be funny. It's, it's one of those type of things. And that guy, Bonsoir, he is like an assassin, and he's a fantastic character. Anyways, what the story is about is uh, there's this gang of animals, and they were betrayed years ago by the people that are now running the garden, the kingdom, basically. And they want revenge. So they're getting back together. They're getting the group back together. You know, the gang back together. The the captain, who is the guy in charge, he's a mouse. But because he knows how to survive, he is amazing as a leader. So they then um, try to get revenge on the uh, people that stole the kingdom from them and betrayed them. So they all get together and they make this journey to where they're at. So one of the interesting things about this book and one of the things that I like about it the most is the way it's written. It's written in non-chronological scenes at first. Um, we have a scene where the mouse is recruiting one of the people to join the gang, to, to back, go back in the gang, and then the next chapter has them at the bar um, meeting each other again and then it'll go back to him meeting another person of the gang and then go back to the bar and then it will um, go back and forth in time and uh, chronology and it's interesting it reminds me quite a bit of a quentin tarantino movie 
I got it. I figured it out. And that it's not um, uh, set one scene after the other. Uh, it jumps around quite a bit. It reminded me, honestly, it reminded me a lot of Reservoir Dogs. Just like all the characters of Reservoir Dogs and how they interacted with each other, that's how they kind of interact with each other in this one, the Yang. And that's kind of like how I felt. And you can tell that there's a lot of Reservoir Dogs, Tarantino-esque influences in this novella. And uh, I just really, really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. It is very violent. It is, it is extremely violent, violent actually. Um, I think that's why it was with animals, because if it was with people, it would be like, I don't know, Joe Abercrombie violent, maybe even more so. Um, so, yeah, that's why. And also, like, guns and stuff doesn't really go too much with, uh, well, it's fantasy, but, you know, give animals a bunch of guns, and it's just ridiculous and fantastical, so. But the way it's written is very good. And I just enjoyed it a lot. I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5. Uh, I definitely recommend it to people. It's not perfect. It's not any masterpiece of fiction. It's just a good time. It's a good fun read. But you have to enjoy the ridiculousness, the humor of it, and the violence. You have to be okay with the violence. Uh, so it's like this gritty western. And there are... there. There is a lot of violence. Um, so yeah, uh, check that out. It was two ninety nine tonight. I I just bought it. Loved it. Best two ninety nine I spent in a while. It gave me a good two and a half hours of entertainment and something that I might read in the future and something that um, I'm going to enjoy thinking about for the next <laughs> few weeks probably. I'm probably just going to be sitting in the car or just sitting there thinking and I'm going to be thinking about like uh, an owl flying around with one wing <laughs> or uh, or a mole digging up a hole for them to use to infiltrate someplace. It's just ridiculous and I love it. Um, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe.